you've ever owned a cell phone that needs to be charged, there's a good chance that you've owned a broken charging cable. Today we're going to be durability testing the stock iPhone cable that comes with every new iPhone 7 and a brand new cable that could very well be the most durable cable in the world from Anchor. At the end of this video we'll be giving away 2,000 of these cables. So stick around and thumbs up to Anchor for giving away a bunch of free stuff. Let's get started. So we're gonna start with the iPhone cable and I've built this contraption that sits inside of this Smith machine right here. And it has the cable plugged into the iPhone. The cable goes down, it's tied around this pole right here, this bar, and then it's plugged into a power bank so we can see when the cable actually stops charging. So how the Smith machine works is that the weights go on either side and these rails guide it up and down. And so as I add weights to the end of the bar, it's gonna be adding weight to the cable and eventually it's gonna stop working or tear out. So both these cables are brand new and we can already see a difference. Here on the head we can see two different materials and this is usually where the cable breaks. Here on the anchor cable it's one solid piece of rubber all the way down so that already gives it an advantage. If we look at the USB end of the cable we kind of have the same thing. Two different materials, this is kind of a rubber. We'll find out how well they're joined together in this weight test. And then here we have one solid piece of rubber all the way down. Now this is the weakest point of any cable. And by putting a ton of weight straight down on this cable, we're deliberately testing the weakest link. Let's start adding weights. Ten pounds. Twenty pounds. Thirty pounds. 30 pounds, 30 pounds. All right, that's interesting. So all it takes is 30 pounds of pressure and that cable rips right out of the bottom of your iPhone. Here's what that other end looks like. Rip the wires right out from inside of it. It's crazy. Now the black anchor cable is plugged in. It's tied to the bar and it's got its power. Let's test this thing. 10, 20, 30. Now 30 is where the iPhone broke. So we'll go 35, still charging, 40, Right on 40 pounds. Looks like it ripped right out the bottom as well, but it still held 10 pounds more weight than the original cable did. And 10 pounds is a lot when you're talking about something as small as this. So now we're gonna check the tensile strength of the actual wire since the head is already ripped off. So we got the wire knotted at the top and the bottom, and now we're just gonna add weights to the end of the Smith machine. So I added a 25 pound weight to the end of that machine and it ripped the cable completely in half. Let's hope the power line to Dura lasts a little bit longer than this did. All right, the power line to Dura is knotted in. The head's been ripped off before with our last test. We're wrapped around the machine. We're good to go. All right, 25 pounds. So keep in mind that these tests aren't extremely scientific. We don't know exactly how much that bar weighs on the Smith machine. But what we do know is that the anchor cable lasted four times longer with the weight than the original iPhone cable did, which is pretty impressive. So now we have both of the cables torn completely apart. Let's take it back to my desk and get a close look at what the inside of these cables look like. So if you watch the video closely, you'll see that each of the cables broke along the knots that I tied. So my knot was a factor in it breaking, but since each cable was treated the same way, it's still a pretty fair test between the two. The Powerline 2 Dura outperformed the stock iPhone cable by quite a large margin. The Anchor Lightning Head handled 30% more weight, 
and the cable itself held almost four times as much weight as the iPhone cable. But let's be honest, the average person won't be lifting weights with their cell phone charger. Bending is much more common with charging cables, and that's where this rubber neck comes in handy. Anchor said they tested it to 12,000 hard bends, which means it'll last 12 times longer than a normal cable. Inside this cable is also super interesting. If you look at the stock iPhone cable, you'll see it has a super weak neck, and that's why so many people complain about having to hold their cable in a certain spot to get their phone to charge. With one hard bend, the little fragile wires tear loose from their connections inside the head. The Powerline 2 doesn't have that problem. Now when I strip down the Powerline 2, it's immediately evident why this thing has a lifetime warranty. Look at all that metal. It's like an industrial Chinese finger trap toy. The metal helps hold the cable together and protect the internals if it accidentally gets kinked, stepped on, or slammed in a car door. You know, life happens. Another interesting thing is the internal gauging of the wire. Anchor's cables are MiFi certified. If you remember from my previous video on third-party Apple accessory standards, Anchor does have that MiFi certification and can use Apple's port. Anchor just uses thicker wires, more metal sheathing, and has a better neck. Basically, just beating Apple at their own game. If a three-foot length isn't your thing, it also comes in one feet, six feet, and ten feet, and red, black, blue, and white coloring. It's too bad Apple hands out those weak sauce cables with every new iPhone 7. But lucky for us, Anchor is giving away 2,000 of these things. I'll toss a link right below this video where you can participate in that. Hopefully you can get one of these cables that last forever, instead of the stock ones that just last a year or two. Thumbs up to Anchor for sponsoring this giveaway, and if you don't have an iPhone, I'm sure you know someone who does. Let them know what Anchor's up to. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you around.